Mmm, Barry's Red Cola. <laughs> Welcome back to Tools and Track. In this episode, we're pulling an engine out of an MR2. That's what you want for Aero, as little purchase as possible. <laughs> I don't have much confidence. In fact, I don't have much confidence in the L brackets that are um, riveted on either, but pretty much building this car for one photo. <laughs> Just to show that's the size. <laughs> Six of those. <laughs> it is now day two. We are now removing the extraneous parts so that the engine removal can begin. It is four degrees C. And G's still wearing shorts. Wow. Pure carbon fiber glass. <laughs> That is the world's sexiest banana. <laughs> is that the is that the sum total of your to-do list for this, by the way? Uh, Make car not scrape off everything. <laughs> that's my wife's list. <laughs> Make more things yellow. Uh, I'm, I'm scared of this list. Short, short of leaving trails of yellow when you drive down the road, I don't think it's possible to make more things yellow. <laughs> I had big concerns about being able to squeeze an engine out from the back of this uh, because you know, it's not an ordinary MR2, there's a lot of uh, fiberglass that's going to get in the way. However, the massive diffuser thing will just take off actually helps because I'm pretty sure that the original MR2 has a metal panel down here. So, yay for clearance, this will help. That is why the Jewel is the greatest tool I've ever put in. As we have done in many episodes before, it is now time to do the building a build a bear box. <laughs> so we'll go around every corner of this engine and we want to disconnect everything that crosses across that line. Right. So dry shafts we'll need to go under and have a look at, but any hoses for coolant, hoses for fuel, bits of loom that go from the, the chassis of the car to the engine, they've got to either go with the engine or come back to the chassis. Because this is a pretty tight application, there's also other things that will not be part of that that I'm going to take off. For example, these two uh, struts that held the inlet manifold, they're primed for catching on the way out. So if it's like for the sake of a bolt or two, I'm just going to pull them out away and, uh, and rip them off. We're not going to start this again, so I'll take the inlet manifold off. Uh, probably didn't cover this pretty well in the first one, but the reason that went back on is because there's a wee fuel pressure line that goes up there. So that'll be disconnected now. And everything that associates to that, that we're taking off the engine, I'll put back in this so we know what with it sets for going back on. Tools and track, top tip number, I don't know what fucking top tip number we're on. Jubilee clips are 7 mil. Why waste time with screwdrivers? This is when Yannick comes back out with his finest bone china. It's fine, just uh, just use that. I'm sure the missus won't care. She absolutely don't care. How about oh, perfect. Don't tell um, my wife. I, I actually just said exactly <laughs> that on camera. I'm going to be presented with something that really shouldn't be used for this, and it'll be G going, I don't, uh, don't tell anyone. Hey. What is it Bear Grill says? Improvise, adapt, <laughs> overcome. The good thing about fuel is it evaporates really quickly. Steam. Look at the width of these tyres, man. That's absolutely bananas. Right, I'm just going to sit these running in here. Not just anywhere. As long as it stops it from. That's paranoia. There you are. Paint me like one of your French girls, Jen. <laughs> right. This is the part where we drain all the coolant out. Also known as the part where I get really, really wet. Dusty. I think you need a new uh, jubilee clip, mate. <laughs> there seems to be more dust. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Jobby water. A lovely shade of brown, you think? How come every time in America when you watch these things, it's always the most gorgeous green? I honestly, out? I've got a, I've got a theory that the guys actually flush the coolant and then do it to show how amazing their cars are. <laughs> but that, that's. 
That's NHS Brown, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad we didn't put them exercise there. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm never going to get tired of breathing in. Are <laughs> we going to see more water? Oh, it's getting browner now, man. Oh, gosh. Look at that, that's like tea. Oh, there we go. It's a better flow. Oh, oh. Oh. That was quite anticlimactic. Mm. It does explain why it was always running a bit hot. <laughs> You know that, you know when like the, f the football commentary do don't have the rights to show the game but they still have the rights to the commentator <laughs> to just stand there and babble about it? <clears throat> like now, now I'm undoing the fucking passer and oh it's a goal! <laughs> now, if you say so mate, I've not got a f***ing clue what you're talking about. Just watch your head on those screws, Good. I don't know if you've noticed but it's <laughs> quite... Quite a few if spikes I, uh, right above your head. If I don't end up bleeding, then I've not done the job right. <sighs> oh God, see at the end of this, I'm sure like a, a, a door's going to open somewhere and I'll get a crystal for the end challenge. <laughs> what we're doing here is, uh, Mad G is about to pull the wheels off so that we've got access to the hub nut. The drive shafts will need to come out for this, but to break that nut, we'll need to get the wheels off first. Go on, my son. <laughs> That's like, I feel like I've just watched a pit change, man. <laughs> <laughs> what are these tyres, man? Tile Proxy, uh, R888s. 33530, 18. <laughs> they won't be cheap. These and actually were cheap because they don't make R888s anymore. It's R888R. Ah. Uh, these were new old stock. Um, I got them really cheap for the two. Um, but if I ever decide to go over to the R's, then <clears throat> I think it's probably about six hundred pounds for the two. So, ow. Yeah, I think a lot of people will probably think it's weird that I decided to even paint the lips black. But no, I think it works. I just man. wanted a nice, stealthy look. There, I, I can't believe how it's just obscene dish. Yeah. <laughs> There's more dish in the I outside think it's than nine, the inside. Nine inch. Dish or eight and a half. The reason we've had the wheels off is there is a little castellated nut protector in here, and I don't even think we can get it out without taking this adapter off. Uh, but that will need to come out so we can buzz off the nut. And I think once we get the castellated protector off, we'll probably need to put the wheels back on unless the buzz gun will take this nut off. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? It's this. Anyway. This little guy's super strong. There we go. That was painful. Do you know what? Do you know what that needs, mate? Cat piss. <laughs> Should we? I think a wee bit of cat piss will help things <laughs> uh, wondrously here. I oh, love how it's It's got the wee rattle as well, like it's paint. WD who? WD sixty three, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to use a lot because it's really expensive. It's also absolutely barking. So we should also explain to our wonderful viewers why we're going to hammer on a socket here. Because this middle one has a... It's a 30. But we've only got 20. <laughs> the, for, but no, we do have a 30, but it's... It's not a deep it's reach. It's not deep. I mean, well, I think though what really needs to be highlighted here is the 30 mil deep reach socket is unbelievably common i have never in my life seen a 20 mil <laughs> <laughs> but yet in your toolbox yeah, know, for some you. reason is a 29 mil uh oh. deep reach socket so also it's 12 face so there's a pretty good chance we will get this chapped on right now let's wind up the plug in oh good yeah christ man it's on its way out so we need to be quick nah 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 there we go Nah. Would you like me to make sure that socket is fully in? Oh, yeah. I've still got another hand that doesn't need skin. Oh, yeah. Right, here you go. Here you can. Uh... Stunt hands. Don't show your face so they still think it's me. Alright, cool. <laughs> well, that's definitely not going. <laughs> I know. That's not. I don't think it needs that anymore. socket and that nut are now one. I now oh. pronounce you man and wife. Are you ready? Yeah, man. That's the f***ing boy. So that will slide out. 
once we're ready to take the shafts off. What we're going to do next is get the car in its final position. That means pushing as far forward in this garage as possible. Um, and then while it's in the deck, we'll have a quick squeeze around, make sure the loom comes out. Then I'll be case of jacking it back up for the last time and dropping the engine. Well, dropping everything and then the engine. Including our pants. I feel like, man. <laughs> You know, I was going to say buy me a drink first, but you've gave me a can of Monster, so oh, my 170 it. BPM is really any idea of uh, of having that. So still got the Tim Hortons. Forgot about them. Yeah, man. <laughs> awesome. So we have repositioned the uh, MR2. MR2. Uh, we're now as far forward as we can be, so we've got more room for activities out back. Now all that remains is to start making things come off. So we're going to start with disconnecting the hubs from the subframe, uh, disconnect the rear torque mount from the subframe and then we'll drop the subframe off. That will give us a lot more room and then we'll need to see how much more of the hubs need to be isolated uh, for us to get the dry shafts out. Once the dry shafts are out and the hubs are out, we'll put the front torque mounts and the main engine mounts and they should fall out. They should fall out. You want some ear defenders? Your defenders are for pussies. <laughs> what? What? Oh, I forgot to uh, show the, the wonderful viewers. The bushing? Hey, I don't even need the thing in. Look at that. Yeah. It actually goes click. Maybe easier going and sitting up, huh? Sitting up? Have you seen the size of me? <laughs> Where did that just go? Never hit the ground. I need to watch back in the footage to see where we are. Really? Yeah, the bolt that came out this top, because it, it just was like... I think I made it up. It dropped onto something. Yeah, you just totally made it up. You want me to, as they say, move the f*** out of the way? No, I don't think it's went anywhere near you, that's the issue. Can you find it? <laughs> Couldn't have went far. Found it. Have you? Ah, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Do I? Let's get up you. <laughs> <laughs> you never look down, so it's definitely is up. To... <laughs> oh, 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 all the clues I can give you. <laughs> Found it. That's all you man. I knew it never hit the ground. Hi. Hello. <laughs> we are doing the mad unbolting of everything at the moment. I'm just doing the front talk mount, which I'm glad to say is almost it. <laughs> You learn math really quick when you can't see. So I'm on a 17, <laughs> 16, 15, 14. Hey, push, man. So glad they picked yellow. Because there definitely wasn't enough yellow. I wonder yellow if that was there. a conscious choice at the time <clears> as well. Just like that. We are removing these simply because we're going to leave the hubs on because they're not going to get in the way to drop the engine out. We're going to probably take these off from there, which could be fun. Um, but these, if we lower the car down again, put the engine on something and then raise the car up. There we go. It's going to quite let the cat piss do its thing now. Keep the faith. Can I use it? Gmail. Or So let's let's have a wee time out and we have a, a wee think about it. Yeah. And um we are thinking of what we can do here. It's gonna involve some wood. We're now going to G's secret uh Woodland. secret wood dungeon. Um see that stuff? Yes. That will probably work. Oh dude, look at the size of that though. That's a game changer. Look at those posts. I'm actually getting wood envy. We're now at the, the bum making diamonds phase of this, where the engine is ready to not be in the car. So the, the process that we're going to use here is, we've got the engine on a creeper, uh, we've got the car as low as it will go, so it's resting on it, and we're just about to undo the two remaining engine mounts that hold it. 
My hope is once we undo those, the engine won't move. We'll lift the car up and then we'll just get changed out. That's the theory. Whether that happens is another matter. So I've just nipped under the car and I've undone the two nuts that hold the engine mount onto the block of the car and it's not moved. So that's not good. I'm just gonna undo it. Should I show them the what's under the car? Um yeah man, go for it. <laughs> right. <laughs> That is so poor dunk, it's frightening, but it will work. We've got the technology, man. I just don't know how to use it. Hi. We can rebuild it. We can make it slower, shitter, fatter. Put flying buttresses to it, I said. How hard will it make it to work on? It's fine. Right, guys, there's now nothing holding this engine in. Really? Got me confused face on, bro. I'm just like. Wait, uh, try to work out how many sponges you'll need to clean this. <laughs> this bomb just put it back in? <laughs> um, if if I find any dirt on this at all, there will be like a post inspection of this. It's not spotless. I, I'm not throwing in. It's on you, mate. I think a cracky, but probably black would be nice. Well, if you want to know my thoughts on what, <laughs> what crackle video. black paint not to use, <laughs> man, have a look at this I video think, in the top corner. I think I'll leave it to the professionals. Yeah. Aye, we're done. In every sense of the word, I'm physically done. Uh, some amount of injuries, but nothing endlessly bad. But that's the engine out. My job here is complete. And oh, that's this is really not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> My, my job, despite what the G says, is complete. The engine's on the floor. What's now going to happen is this man is going to get his usual status error level of fastidious cleaning and perfection on the go. <laughs> so we're probably going to take a wee break. We might pop back uh, to do a wee interim episode just to see what's happening. Uh, maybe give a wee bit of assistance with gaskets and stuff. Big assistance. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to do the subscribe thing down in this bit. Oh, that's really yeah, hard to yeah. reach. When you're far away, it's really hard to reach. I thought it was this way. You can pick. All right. And don't forget to press the bell so that you're alerted for new videos. I don't know what that even means or if it's enabled on my channel. Oh, it's on every channel. I right, hit the bell then. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe and we'll catch you next time.